G'day everybody, it's Max and welcome back to Infraspace. And in this tips tutorial, we're gonna look at districts. Specifically, forcing areas to only deliver their products to other areas so as they're not being bled off or taken by factories too far away to actually get any good advantage out of them. Let's go on in and have a look at it. All right, this tips tutorial is on districts. And specifically, I'm gonna take uh, districts and I'm gonna apply it to my food districts. So in this case, we have three different size paintbrushes. Boom, look at that. Uh, little tiny brush. Uh, I wish it was even smaller than that, but it's about as small as you get. So in this case, we have a food district here. And of course, the food districts are a little, are a little complicated, right? Because you need them to do a thing. Uh, so, of course, we obviously uh, want the food districts. Uh, we, of course, want this here, right? And anything made in this district, right? Uh, to end up in this food plant over here, right? Now, we're going to uh, separate this here, like so. And then we're gonna paint this over here, like so. And of course, this now will take care of all the things. Uh, yep, there we go, yep, get in there. All right. Awesome sauce. Now, in this particular case, uh, we are also going to paint the districts of the build of the actual food centers in here themselves. Uh, we're going to try to be very careful not to mix this up with the other districts because that is a thing we don't want to happen. Okay, so now we can actually label the districts. So in this case, um, you know, we want the vegetables. Uh, and uh, we want the meats and the meats. Okay, very good. Uh, so the meats, in this case, we want the, uh, the meats here. Stop that. <laughs> yes, I want meats, yep, thank you, to go here, like so. And I want these meats, and yeah, you be fussy. There we go, to go into there. And I want these veggies right I want these veggies to go here so basically what we've done is we've created this district zone where these vegetables and these meats are only allowed to go to these food processing centers now because I've put no arrows under these food processing centers they will distribute trucks to the city where they need to uh, if you don't have a district specifically, like if I were to highlight these buildings here of a district and then told these food processors to put into this district only, this amount of residential buildings over here would fall apart because they would get none of this free food. Uh, so that is important. Now, another big use uh, for uh, using districts I find is around the carbon nanotubes and uh, 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 the... Uh, uh, Go away for a second. <laughs> I never remember the names of these other buildings. They're like the nanites. Oh, the nanite buildings, right. The nanotubes and the nanites. Uh, now, that's because they take up a lot of carbon. Uh, so in this particular case, I have a carbon district here, and I don't want any of this carbon being shared with anybody but what's going on in this district here. Uh, so I'm gonna highlight this as a district okay like so and we'll 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 get this all filled in here in a second do 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 uh yep like so like so like so now i don't want any of these carbon machines uh so i want this carbon to go to this district only and that way i know this carbon is not being wasted or used in the steel mills that are over here uh which have their own carbon outputs uh and which are close by so i don't need it shipping all that carbon over there so in this particular case districts are really good once your city starts getting big enough that you can start segmenting the city into its own blocks um i wouldn't worry about using districts early on in the game uh like especially when you're first getting set up and you're, you know you're getting your first mining and you know getting a couple of steel and a little bit of concrete working and stuff districts aren't going to help you in any case there but why don't you start making big big uh sections like this now for example um my next move with this city will be to actually duplicate this city again 
And when I do, I am not going to want this food here to leave these two zones. So what I will probably do is I will probably district out this whole entire residential block area and then make sure this food only ends up in this area. And then I will build a new food center for the new district block I make. With that, that is districts that you find over here on the left hand menu. I'm Max, this of course is Infraspace and I'll see you on the next one.